Alright, episode 15 of the Vukovic Tales with an independent kingdom of Yugoslavia. And this is how it happened the last time. Went to a revolt. We went to a war which was an independence uh, revolt league war thing. And uh, a couple of battles happened in various places. Um, Especially the big one at, at Vidin. And we took a uh, Severn from the enemy. And isn't it? And then this other army captured uh, Constantinople. And we won the war <laughs> over the Basilis um, Apollonios. Which he's not even adult yet. And uh, we held a grand tournament earlier this year. So I'm happy how this turned out. It was a struggle if you watched uh, the last episode. It was a hell of a struggle. Yeah, let's just hope we get some more friends. Well, meanwhile, that we still have to solve the uh, the problem with the Slavic pagans in our mist. Oh, that reminds me. Actually, that double reminds me. I was looking up my phone because I heard a notification went off. The Duchy titles. May my my may my life may be short. Hey, screw you, will ya? Get off my bank, huh? Plus you're my spy master. Don't give me that attitude. Uh have to get it the Dutchie titles. I have a lot of them. So I gotta start distributing. You You can have Oh, read them um, away, so. <laughs> Forgot. To. Well, once I come back, then um, we'll start distributing. Or you can do that. That's fine with me. <laughs> well, Athens did a favor for me. Oh, no. What is she suffering with? Consumption, field treatment. Uh. He's now, he's trying his best. I mean, this guy's a pro. So she's not my rival right now. I mean, this guy's a pro, it's just he had a little mishap. So, uh, I hope you get well soon. Okay, now I'll distribute the titles. Okay, you can have this. You can have that. Yeah, that's it. But Bosnia is mine. All mine. Reason why I say Bosnia is mine because this is the ancestral home of the Vukovic's. Assemble the mob. Whose trade fruit is this? Oh, it belongs to Venice. Well, what you gonna do? Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. It's a damn good time to be Yugoslav right now, or serve, I should say. If you will. Okay, now we distribute the tiles. Now we gotta get rid of some of the chiefs. We're revoking your title. Because you are an infidel. Simple as that. Just give me your title and we're gonna...
distribute it to your orthodox son here. Against this, because hmm. I kind of don't want to hold that to land, because that piece of land's got nothing to offer for me. this? No? Everyone's against it. What about you? You want this lane? <laughs> okay, now they like it. Okay, here you go. Have fun. Duke of Duke. Uh, isn't he the, the guy who... Uh, Oh, the Duchess wants to go, and then the husband of it is the one. It's the other. There you go, that settles it. It's we're solving our little uh, pagan problems. Well, this guy, however, is going to be a bit of a problem because he's a Lage of Dracon. If I were to evoke it, not only it counts as tyranny, but. Um, He's not going to be converting. But he has an orthodox son, so this could provide an opportunity. We're going to kill his ass, hopefully. If not, then... Um, well, there's a small possibility. Just give out some money, then... Maybe we'll have a chance. Is that it? Okay. <laughs> Good on you. And just uh, enhance it further. That may not be enough. Ah, damn it. Well, he tried. Because this guy owns big. <laughs> well, anyways, it's just I'm glad that we're back to independence and... Uh, oh, shit. The charity. I forgot because all that fighting for independence stuff. <laughs> so hopefully I will become Megoschemos, which my father did not accomplish that because he was killed in action. not good. Just, that means my plot power goes down. I need it to be deceitful. Not to mention I was deceitful back then because of, you know, I was dealing with that other event where I took credit for uh, <laughs> the writings that would involved a bit of uh, poetry. Poetry in motion. Alright, let's speed it up. I think we spend on 1293 for long. I've pretty much solved most of my problems, and I'm 
63 years old and I'm awaiting for the day that I might die. But so you're not getting any bigger. So uh send some troops. Yeah. Uh send more cavalry. Have to manage a mercenary band too. It's war and yet uh they didn't really contribute into anything. And it's kind of unfortunate that this next guy is going to be a Catholic and supposedly Italian. There's a reason why I said that, uh... There's a reason why I said that, uh... Bosnia is my ancestral home of the Vukovic. I mean, if you look up, there's the high chief, this Carolina the Wise, the founder of this dynasty. She originally hailed from Rama and then took over Osura, and she was. Um, Part of Bosnia. Died a natural death at 64. Did a lot of things, including being in Paler. So, yeah, she was an evil woman because she joined the Devil Worshipping Society as the means of getting power. It was what it was. The wise they call her. <laughs> I doubt we'll ever have a ruler like that ever again. Hmm, this gets me an idea. Alright, we could get rid of him through force. I mean, sure we'll fail to grab him into, into jail. Uh, what was he pointing for? Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm ready to get rid of them. Let's do it. I mean, of course this happened, but this is just to solve the Slavic problem. He only has 11,000 troops. While I, of course, totally outnumber them. Hell, I'll get mercenaries for this one. Get to Russia. I go take the, the long way. And, well, trying to make your way in the so good. What the hell? Why did he move this capital to Colonia? <laughs> Crazy guy. And since I have a lot of money, let's use these mercenaries. How much the cost is 41 gold? Oh, you're gonna be that guy too? No longer zealous. Huh? Did you hire mercenaries? Yes, you did. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> like, that's gonna help you win your little war. This is just a part of the cleaning process. Oh, this again. 
They were pagans and they only have themselves to blame and this is what they're about to get into. We're gonna put his ass into prison and revoke his titles. Why are you even married to this man? You are married to an infidel. How do you feel about that? Uh oh. Cut him off in the pass. Have everybody go for him. Gotcha. You're gonna land this way. We'll assemble the. Uh, get our best. And the other army will get these guys. two are brawling each other. Oh, that makes sense. Because the shaman... Yeah, you two wouldn't cooperate and it's like, Ah, right, you're an infidel! And then they start beating each other up. Oh, no. Oh, the commander of the Lithuanian band got me. And I'm severely injured again. They they got my hand off. Yep, I'm definitely gonna die. Long live the king. He was a hell of a ruler. He brought us to independence. Still going on. Hey, get back here. Oh, she got over her problems. I was wondering, uh, didn't she have a martial skill of 10? And now it's back up.
Oh, our, our best commander has been killed in action. I could be next if I'm not careful. You worry, we'll get them in. Uh, we'll get, we'll get his ass in the prison in no time. He's going to jail because he's a pagan, and there's no other answer behind it. And as for the the duchy itself, I'm probably gonna have to give it to somebody, uh, somebody important. Slavko's our next best commander. I forgot we went to battle without a center direct leader. Oh. Now I have an infection. It's scarred. That's not good. All because that Lithuanian cut my head off. Now. Gotcha. Well, you know what they say. Well, since I don't have the cruel trait, so I can't take a body part of them. After the war, okay? We'll handle these old grudges. I was about to say an eye for an eye or two for the tooth. If I only cut his old man as a way of. Well, you did that to mine. All right, they're gone for now. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Torture. Oh no, I don't want to lose kind of trait. Alright, okay. Kill his ass. An eye for an eye and a head for a hand. Oh yeah, you, <laughs> John Ghana, you were once married to the uh, Basilius before he got killed up in Crimea. <laughs> As I said, no hard feelings, right? Oh, come on, not again. What more do you want? Police in. Why didn't you tell me that you're a heretic? You are definitely not thinking straight, young lady. What's the matter with you? You got two different lovers, Middle Rad and the Patriarch. What the hell's going on with you? Worries. I will never understand Dragana. I think she just prefers to like men and not have, you know, a family life. Well, let's just... This guy was to be the heir. And now the Jew, Italian, Serb, is gonna be the next um, heir. Well, ain't that... What is that color? Venice? Huh. Soon it'll become the most serene republic, and that'll be a bit of a problem. At least for our coasts, because we kind of pissed them off a bit. Yeah, that guy, he would have been another cruel ruler. 
And for the boy, I'm not sure. Because I have an infection and I have cancer and I would like to think I'm ready to die soon. But hey, we get to have an attractive ruler. finally died of cancer along with the infection because he never got over when they cut his hand off. He was a humbled man, a godly man. He is with Jesus now, despite the fact that, his, that people call him son of Satan, but he proved all the doubters wrong. He even, he even made our country independent. And now this boy here... Uh, Gotta be m <laughs> married to my aunt. Naughty, <laughs> willful, brooding, and attractive. Well, this could be something. And I'm having a martial education. Oh, he died. But this was his final act. Visiting the monastery, which my order had conceived at this time I joined... My fellow lay members in dutifully perform all the tasks required for us in the evening. After all the day's hard work, the abbot but, uh, gathers all the visiting lay members and reveals the monastery's greatest treasures. A great relic that's been safeguarded here for generations. It should be mine. Well, I doubt this is going to work because... Um, Apparently, I own parts of Italy, and I do not want that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start dealing with this land. Probably give it to Cosme. Hey, do you want uh, all of the Italian counties? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, I forgot. What's up, Rabbi? What the hell am I doing? Okay, now I am Serbian. But, I've no piety. So, looks like I'm gonna have to be Jew for a bit. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. We finished uh, my father's, well, grandpa's war. So yeah, he's in prison now. Now we can start working on the kingdom. Oy vey. Let's, let's try to fix everything, I guess. Not to mention due to the change of culture, it got rid of my unique units. Oh, and we can revoke this guy's title, but no, they say. They went on a trick, but no, it's discontent. That's because I'm Jewish. And I held too many duchy titles again. Why can't I just give it away for free, can't I? It needs to be approved by my council, but, well, I guess I'm just going to have to deal with that. Great rabbi. Oh boy. Water faction. 
Yeah, that's gonna be problematic. Oh. That's because I'm Jewish, right? <laughs> We're gonna keep this up until I turn 16 or get up to 500 piety. Gain two martial. Well, I'm having a martial education, so. Bam! Punch your ass. Punch. Good lord. Only the rabbi likes me and everybody doesn't because they're all malcontent. I really gotta get out of this somehow, but I guess I'm just gonna have to grow up like that. My boy, I, sometimes I could just get rid of all these titles, but, um... <laughs> As I ride through the empty corridors of on my castle, the trusty wooden stick courts, I come across my regent. Uh, that's my rabbi. Hands a verse here, which like turns against you. CHARGE! <laughs> What the hell am I doing? Now we got a Serbian rabbi. There we go. Now we have a little bit of Serbian. <laughs> Forget the Greek. proud I guess and there's these people ready to get rid of Prince Ratomir oh hey you know if, if they get more support behind us I'll be willing to surrender the throne to him but that would also mean I would be playing as this character and not transfer to that character yeah, you can't do that it's a little unfair I know Get my piety up and uh, and then uh, and then I guess I'll have to become an iconoclast. <laughs> Prestige of 500. I thought it was piety, but I didn't read that correctly, obviously. Wait a minute, what are the items? Oh, holy crap, I got more items. Huh. Okay, where's this? Have that. Where's my axe? It's my two plus X. Oh, I'm not an adult yet, so... Guess I'll stick with that. There we go. A little bit more prestige gain. Just wait a few months, and then, um... I'm out of this Jew deal, and, uh... Become an Iconoclast. This is a why I was worried, because that's why I was hoping to live a little bit more longer because of such BS that's going on. Maybe we should have turned it into an elective monarchy. That would have solved all the problems. 
And yet I fear that they would, the next orders that they would be voting, they would vote for a pagan. Oh, blues everywhere. Don't you worry, this boy is going to grow up. In 1297, we entered into an era of iconoclasm. Serbian icon new era of the independent Yugoslavia. You're going down south? Good luck with that. In about the spring. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's up there. I'm not worried about that. Okay, maybe I uh, didn't read that part. Get up to the prestige of 1,000. Well, crap. What else I gotta do now? Just to get a little bit more prestige around here. I mean, I don't want to stay Jewish forever. Wow. Definitely improved the castle. <laughs> Tolerance is one thing, but I would rather up the majesty a little. Even more prestige gain. I do not want to replace an entire council for the Jews. No, no, no. We don't want to have a Jewish Yugoslavia. Because this isn't exactly Israel. This is just, uh, it's for the Orthodox and that's the way it's going to be. And of course, you've got those people coming. Once I become an adult, then, um... Yeah. Just be patient. Maybe all of this can go away. And... They're all gonna be pissy. I could... Give them lots of money. Maybe it'll... Settle down. Just a bit. Because I am not ready for this. Just gonna be generous. There we go. Up the map. I doubt this idea is gonna work because this is kind of late. <laughs> Should have done it one as soon as I was crowned, but um, signing to another guardian. Sure. The stories are about kings and queens, pagans in the mighty room. This is stupid. <laughs> so that's how all these children just become brainwashed. It's because of their parents. You blame their parents for raising them as secret pagans. <laughs> okay, council's not content anymore. Is it time? I doubt that they're going to prove it because the wall. And plus, I have a regent <laughs> still. Just wait till it's prestige uh, uh, 1000, then we'll be fine. Hopefully. Just hopefully. I can read this again because sometimes I just really do not pay attention. That was 
my other hand. Inbred? Who are your parents? Kinsman and Ant. And what trait did I just get? I heard that. You're a Oh, interesting. Thank you. Did I get that from you? Oh, I didn't know you are Jewish too. Huh. Ain't that something? Well, I should have picked an Orthodox tutor, but... Oh well. Now I'm an envious. So now I have two out of out of seven of the seven sins. And this next one, I'm not gonna get any more sinful than that. I guess a little pride don't hurt anybody. Is it the 20th of my birthday? Yeah. There. Just be patient. Oh, Blanche. That's how he's gonna stop it. Okay, he did. We're going to be into the 1300s soon, into a new century and a new era for, for, for our country and part of Italy, which I really got to do something about it because I am not interested in holding this part of the land unless I were to give them all the titles and then grant independence so I don't have to deal with all of that. Because I really got to distribute the duchy titles. And if the council doesn't like it, well, fuck them. I don't care if I get assassinated as long as I, uh... And plus, all these children are gonna go to... They're gonna go to her, so... It'll be alright. It'll be fine. Because we want her to have orthodox children. One would think that I've been raised wrong. Paranoid people. Okay, 200 more prestige to go and then the... grand possibility of an iconoclast um, period would begin. I don't know what these I don't know what these people would hate more. Infidels or heretics. I cannot believe I killed that rabbi <laughs> just by charging her as I was horsing around in that hallway. <laughs> yeah, I don't typically I mean I can't remember the last time I played as ruler while I was a child. I think it might have been Queen Natasha the Unfaithful before I just became a... Oh, you know. The one with all the 13 children due to all the seducing. But uh, she was born attractive. And this character is born attractive, so I don't know if I'll be the kind that would seduce a bunch of people. Don't know about that. But at least we're gonna raise another, um... King who is of a military background with the education. Alright, one more month and then I am adult. And I can finally marry to Natasha. Which I don't know if this is Oh, we're gonna have inbred children, I know it. 
yourself, soldier. Know your enemy. Know your land. Know your prey. Damn it. I'm stubborn. Okay, okay, okay. So that's what I look like, huh? Okay, I'm not sympathetic of Jew, but now I am the iconoclastic king. One would think that would say, what have I done? If I'm pious enough and control constant, I can create an iconoclast um, ecumenical patriarch. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. That's too far-fetched of a goal like that. So how do you like me now, huh? Oh, these people are gonna forever hate me because I was educated in foreign culture. Because I was born in Tuscany. Alright, we gotta start distributing titles right now. And if the council don't like it, screw them. They're gonna riot about it. Did I just give away Pisa? Oh no, it's part of the same duchy. Oh, what the hell? I have ownership of that land up there too? Who's the count? This is yours. The council can go to hell, as far as I'm concerned. That does not mean I would try to turn into an autocratic government. No, that's impossible. And Tuscany. You can have Tuscany. Well, looks like we're getting myself an iconoclastic patriarch. Congratulations, now you wear a hat. I decided to change my uh, facial hair. I mean, I can do that, you know, changing the hairstyles and things like that. But I decided to go with the mustache. I don't like the beard. Huh. I thought I would look fine. Huh. For somebody who's gonna be the one that'll destabilize the realm. Forgot about my focus. I I am not going to live a life of seduction because marriage is the other way around. And, uh... Maybe I should just be a family man. <laughs> I think war is good enough for me. With that amount of skill. Orthodox Bible. I want you to read it. <laughs> I I could go back to Orthodox, but I think that's a little early, don't you think? <laughs> eunuch. Who's the eunuch? This guy. I could have zero diplomacy or try to have some. If I were to have ended a Harris 
And we'll see, would I try to join back towards the Lux? Or is it going to lead me back to Judaism? I do not know. Let's hold our grand tournament. Whatever. Headsets outside of Italian life. Oh, by the way. Just for that. Now that I've given you these touches, I'll grant you independence. Yeah. Yeah. And up there. All yours. And you as well. Just distributing land and, um. Yeah, you too. We're just gonna be alone. <laughs> These nations aren't gonna last long, they're gonna be assimilated by the bigger countries. He's alone. Thinking about it. Should I risk a big war just to grab this small piece of county as a way of our early campaigns for expansionism? It will never happen. What the hell's going on? I guess that's what I get for being born attractive. Third place. <laughs> Second place and now there's the winner. Oh, I'm in trouble. I am just like that Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten. <laughs> I am bent low over my war table, struggling to stay focused and to keep my eyes open. When my wife Queen Natasha enters, she crosses the room and expects the war table to my shoulder. Perhaps a fresh pair of eyes might prove helpful to your husband? <laughs> yeah, perhaps you're right. My wife received uh, an uh, education in warfare, like myself, so she quickly grasps the <coughs> nuances of the problem as I explain it. Uh, the two of us set to work, uh, discussing and comparing troop compositions. Natasha is the most competent uh, strategist. Within an hour, um, I laid the groundwork for a promising solution. Let us retire to the bedchamber, my dear. <laughs> Fall in love with her. Because she's my wife. As, as I was mentioning earlier, it's like I'm just like that Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten who was, uh, you know, the heretic uh, pharaoh who worshipped the sun god, the Aten, and that's what I'm comparing this little iconoclast scenario here. Except the only difference is that we're breaking icons, including the ones that that the uh, previous rulers had commissioned, such as the icons of Saint Peter and Mary, the Mother of God here. And now we're reversing all of this. Not to mention we're dealing problems with Orthodox who resent us iconoclasts, Slavic pagans, and a few Jews hereabout. 
Oh, oh, I remembered something. This guy. that hey you want this if you don't like it then have all yep I'm gonna get myself into danger for the more Lazarino Vukovic. Isn't that Italian for Lazar? <laughs> Hell of a version change. Made you proud, Uncle. Well, meanwhile, I alienated most of my vassals. <laughs> Not to mention I was born a foreigner. And I'm sure the next episode. Uh, I'm sure the next episode. Um, you'll see uh, <laughs> a full life of this iconoclastic king, um, uh, Jovan, a crusade for Italy. Oh, a crusade against the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they're really going at it each other. Thank God I'm not part of that crusade. <laughs> I was able to get out of it in, in time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? Um. <coughs> so hopefully we'll have some more fun in this next episode because. That episode was just basically a transitional period, as we will stop here on the 25th of December. Our own Christmas Day, supposedly. So Italy's fractured into pieces, and Yugoslavia is contradictory. So, tune into the next episode where How an Icon Class Rule, and we will have a child that will continue the Serbian legacy. See you next time. Good night.